people, this is my Spring Reverb Mojo. Um, I designed it almost from scratch. I used a schematic from the internet as a base, but I added a low pass and high pass filter and a gain, which also has soft clipping, which acts as a distortion and also compression, and it makes the sound better, I think. This is a dry wet mix and this is a feedback and I also made it uh, with exposed strings so uh, uh, you can uh, bang and scratch on them to create interesting sounds which works uh, nice with the feedback as well. And uh, also the tank is uh, connected to the PCB through uh, these uh, cables so if you want you can switch the tank for, for other tank. There are tanks with three strings and better tanks maybe because this is from eBay for $27, it was the cheapest one, but I think it sounds pretty good. I should also mention that I placed the, uh, the tank on the front panel because the tank should be oriented with these uh, connectors up because of the way the magnetic um, core of the transformers are oriented and the strings uh, can move in them. So the best orientation for a reverb tank, for most reverb tanks actually, it's uh, this way. self oscillate and uh, with these frequency filters you can actually control on which frequency to oscillate And if you adjust it just on the brink of self oscillation, and if you bank one string, it starts to self oscillate. And this is what happens if you play the music through the reverb. Because uh, the music actually, it's like actually it's banging on the string, and the string start to self oscillate from this banging but they oscillate with a frequency which is derived from the frequency of the signal so it fills the space with sound which is coming uh, derived from the signal so that's why it sounds cool circuit for the spring reverb and um, I have made two versions and I will explain why now but uh, this is the part where I uh, took from the internet 
it's the same here which is from some kind of uh, very famous schematic from Fender this is the actual driver of the spring coil I added uh, a high and a low pass filter and I think this is a very good addition because uh, when you have also feedback you can modify the sound and the feedback a lot by these uh, two pot potentiometers and this part of the circuit here where it's missing here is a bit of a problematic this is the distortion effect uh, the soft clipping and I really like how it sounds so overall this lowers the signal 10 times and then this amplifies it 10 times but the result is a very nice soft clipping which is like a limiter or a compressor and it just makes the, so the sound quite better in my view but unfortunately uh, the problem is that now for the dry wet mix I am using directly the input and uh, it's really a better option if you have a op amp here to buffer the input mainly because if the input is not connected to anything there is a path here like another feedback path from here through the pot which is dry wet mix and uh, it could start self oscillate if there is no input but uh, in this case I disregarded the part of the circuit with the distortion and um, just um, add one, uh, the buffer here. If you want to try this, maybe stick with this schematic uh, if you don't want to burn your house down or something. And this should be more stable. So this is the dry signal and if I increase the gain, this is with, without the clipping diodes and this is if I increase the gain, the gain starts to clip and it becomes more like a square wave and it actually doesn't increase the volume but it changes the signal and it makes it more beefy like uh, it's like if you have increased the loudness I am designing this modular system from scratch I also created the case and the power supply and most of the modules I found on the internet but I designed the sequencer and the uh, spring reverb almost entirely by myself um, and uh, I all already shared this project um, so I will share this project now uh, and I also designed this mixer but it's a pretty simple design maybe I will share it also my goal is to make all the modules with uh, elements that I could find on the local stores so no fancy elements that I could that I should order from eBay I actually ordered this tank from eBay this is the only part that I couldn't find in my local stores so uh, I will probably continue sharing these projects uh, and uh, if you like please consider supporting me also on Patreon thank you